Greetings everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about boosting other source players frequency and why you may or may not want to do that. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. First off, let's talk about whose frequency you have the ability to boost. Well, you can boost another source player's frequency that is on a frequency level lower than yourself. You cannot boost a frequency level that is higher than you. That's not possible. You can only affect source players who are at a frequency level that you are on or lower. You can only boost a source player that's on a lower level than you. Now, let me explain to you what happens and how you do that. Okay? You do that first by focusing your intent on that particular individual source player with your intent to give them a boost. Okay? You are, in effect, shooting an arrow of intention into them. And by your intent, you are giving energy from yourself into them. You are increasing them. There is an intent. It brings them up quickly and you need to immediately withdraw your intent to continue the boost. Okay. If you do not withdraw your intent, then you are leaving an open connection to yourself that is going to siphon, and I'm going to use the term siphon because it's going to siphon off of you. And what's going to happen is your energies are going to go, they're down here, you're up here. You sh sent an arrow of connection energy, okay? And you're going to go down and they're going to come up until both of your levels are leveled out. You see, you are allowing them to siphon energy off of you and they're getting benefit of it and you are losing your empowerment. Okay? Now, what happens whenever you give an energy uh, boost to a source player? Giving another source player a boost is one energy that you cannot retrieve at the end of the day. That is a given. You gave it to another source player, so therefore it is not retrievable by you at the end of the day. This is why you need to shut, cut off the flow with your intent. You intended for it to be the connection to be made and to give them a boost, but you don't want to continue it because when you do that, you are giving away, you're giving away your energy. You need your energy for yourself. Now, if you give this to a source player that's lower than you, which is the only person you can give it to, they don't know what to do with it. And it's up to them then to do the best thing with it. And if they didn't ask for it, and if they're totally unaware, they'll sense it happened. But if they don't know how to use it, then it's not going to benefit them. And it definitely did not benefit you. The only time I can really say that this might assist you is if it is a family member, a child or a spouse, a child or a spouse. is probably the only times you should ever consider really giving an energy boost. If you are inside the box, you should never consider giving an energy boost to anyone other than your spouse or your child. People who affect you and are literally in your household and have daily contact with you. You need to ask your source self if it will benefit you. Always ask your source self if it will benefit you to do something for another source player before you go and do it. Especially when it's energy related and you're talking about your empowerment and your journey here. 
this is not a simple thing to just oh it's power don't do that that's not beneficial to you you don't realize what you're doing at all you really don't know what you're doing and you can give away too much because it takes you longer than you think to regain that power that you gave away and if you were leaving an open connection where you haven't severed that connection then you're being siphoned off every day until that gate is closed now are you feeling drained at the end of the day really drained at the end of the day well chances are you threw an intent to give a source player a boost and you're feeling it there is so much more to all of this energy um, stuff than you know you have the tool and the connection that will give you all the answers I always say ask your source self if it will benefit you before you try to go and help another source player energetically in any way because this experience in this journey is about you if you are giving away energy to source players who are unaware and asleep you're not helping them and you definitely are not helping yourself it's not benefiting you it will benefit all of source more if you can raise your frequency level to get outside the box then you can really help source players that's when it really helps other source players before that time you really don't have extra energy to be handing out and giving out yes it can be a exciting experience to see people receiving your energy and benefiting from it temporarily and it can be encouraging and you realize wow I really do have power but yes you do but with every intent like that you deplete your empowerment and what are you going to do when you have depleted your empowerment and you are at a plateau and nothing seems to be going the way you want it to be going and you've given away your energy your empowerment so you can do nothing you have no stored up power you have nothing to deal and manifest those things that you desire because you have given it away to lower frequency source players who aren't awake they're not aware have no intention of removing animal meat flesh blood fish and anything with heart from their foods consumed they cannot have a good they can't have a source self connection as long as they're eating animals why would you want to pour into someone who doesn't want to help themselves why it's a total waste they'll stay there until they get miserable enough and their intent then is to find a solution and their sort of self connection and they'll be drawn to this information or they'll find it another way they'll get it in their minds a thought stream created in their minds of what they need to do yes it's fun to benefit other source players in lower frequencies and help them out yes it is but the cost helping a, an unaware asleep source player is not beneficial for you in your game your experience it is your empowerment that you are giving away and you re you don't realize it 
ask your source self always if it will benefit you first if it will benefit you and then if it will benefit the other source player and only under those circumstances should you consider using your intent to boost another source player. If you have found these videos to be helpful to you in your journey, then it is in your benefit to be a supporter of this work as it unlocks higher frequency unlocks for you that you cannot unlock any other way. It is a frequency issue. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.